Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspirations. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy my content. So today we're doing a Divine Feminine reading. And this is for those in separation, no content, contact for Twin Plane Soulmates. And today we're looking at Divine Feminine Thoughts. And we're going to have a look at that. I pre-shuffled the oracles and we're going to clarify with the tarot. Don't forget to check out my deck shop, my Etsy shop to purchase a reading, my Patreon, just $5 a month. If you join that, you will get a free reading as a thank you. Okay, so we're going to get started. Let's have a look at the energies for the Divine Feminine. And I'm using the Queen of the Moon Oracle. So we have Faith. So I do feel the feminines have faith that what will be, will be, you know, what is for them will not pass them by. And you trust, you're, you're trusting in the universe, you're trusting in the divine, and you're stepping into your power, okay? You're acknowledging that you are a powerful manifester and you could be working on that, manifesting your desires and focusing on that, focusing on what you do want as opposed to what you don't want anymore. And things will start coming into fruition. You are going to start creating your desires. And you're bringing in abundance, okay, with this energy. You're bringing in abundance. But there's some unexpected um, things happening. You know, we're not sure what's happening. We're going to look at the tarot. And there is a new beginning coming in here. And it's time to set boundaries. You know, you're aware that you need to set boundaries around your energy, around your self, you know, making sure that you're protecting your own energy this time. Um, because you're in the energy of self-love, you're really loving yourself, taking care of yourself right now. And you have that discernment, you know, you're using discernment to, you know, tell who is good for you, um, who is not, you know, situationally and people. And you wanting to manifest pleasure in your, in your life. You want to, you know, have more pleasure in your life. And you've gained a lot of wisdom and knowledge in this period apart. And the masculine is very much on your mind. And I feel that you are also balancing out your masculine energies. You know, you're balancing out the masculine and feminine. And there's still a lot of attraction here. So you're still, you know... You still really think very much of your masculine. It's very much on your mind. And that came out in the masculine's energy. Um, thoughts, reading, if you want to have a look at that. So let's just clarify. And I'm using the Tarot de la Nuit. Let's clarify with the Tarot. What is this faith talking about? talking about yeah we've got three of wands so obviously that is divine timing so i feel you're trusting in the divine you're trusting in the universe you know things will change things will move forward at the right time and it is about doing that healing work on ourselves and we've got the seven of wands so you are have got boundaries up there could be some guarded energy here as well you're really protecting your own energy right now you're in that energy of self-love. You're protecting yourself. And there could be some guarded energy still around you there. And you're stepping into your power. What's that talking about? Well, we've got the Ace of Cups. So, yeah, I feel that you're in your energy of self-love, self-worth. That came out in the masculines as well. So you're really honouring yourself right now, okay, and taking care of you, focusing on you. And we've got that focus energy there. And I feel that you're really taking that time to nurture yourself, to love yourself, to be in that compassionate energy. And things will come into fruition. We've got the Ace of Wands. So... I feel you're manifesting a new beginning here. Um, this could be creatively. This could be with regard to the connection. The passion is still there. And you're creating abundance here with your 
you know, powers of ma your magician energy powers. You know, you're really focusing, you're setting intentions and you're creating your own abundance for yourself here. We've got the chariot energy. So there is going to be movement forward for you. Things are going to improve. We can see you're attracting abundance. And we've got the unexplained there. So something could be happening in your life out of the blue. The unexpected, I mean. Something completely out of the blue. What is that talking about? We've got nine of cups. So that talks about a wish fulfillment. So something that you've been wishing for. Okay, you're going to manifest that and there is a new beginning. So whether it was a um, new beginning with your masculine, you know, stepping through the portal to have a new beginning and we have justice coming in. So there is divine justice on your side. Things are going to be put right. And we've got the eight of wands. So I feel there is communication coming in. Okay, I feel there's going to be forward movement and you're in that energy of self-love. You're feeling good about yourself. And, you know, people can feel that energy about you. They can sense that energy about you. What's it self-love about? <clears throat> page of cups so i feel you're giving yourself your cup you know you're you're really giving yourself that love that you deserve and focusing on that and we've got the full energy so i feel you're ready to take a leap of faith in love as well because you've got that self-love you know that self esteem going on and you're ready to maybe take a chance on love again and you're using discernment here to just you know decide what is good for you what is not and we have the Six of Swords. So I feel you're moving away from the past patterns of behaviour, the way you dealt with things before. Um, you've really done work on yourself and you're you're moving into a smoother time, smoother waters. And we've got Page of Pentacles. So I feel there is going to be a reaching out. We've got pleasure there. So you're wanting pleasure in your life. There is going to be a reaching out. There is going to be a message. And you've gained so much wisdom and you've become wise and you know you have understood more about yourself than maybe you ever have we got the lover's energy there so yeah you want that connection you want that loving connection that soul connection and the masculine is very much on your mind and we got the emperor so I feel he's going to be coming forward as the emperor and that came out in the masculine's read. Okay, you want him to come correct. You want him to come forward to take the action, to be in the right energy, to be in that energy of, you know, being the one, being, you know, your equal, being your counterpart. And there is still so much attraction here between you. Yeah, we have the magician energy. So I feel that, you know, you're manifesting this. I think they're manifesting this. You're manifesting this reconnection. And we have got the Hierophant there. So you've both been on a spiritual journey and you're both looking for that commitment. You know, you're wanting that um, committed connection, that equal connection, that soulmate connection. What else can you tell us? Well, we've got judgment. So in the traditional tarot, that shows Archangel Gabriel playing the horn and waking the dead. So something you thought was dead and gone, and this came out in the masculine, it is a chance to reconcile, to reconnect. We've got the Ten of Cups. So there is a chance of a relationship here. There is a chance of a loving connection you know, if you're both on that same page. And we've got the High Priestess. So it's time to tap into your intuition 
and to really follow your own guidance at this time you have the wisdom to do that so let's look at your other energies so we've got adversity i accept challenges are the best way to learn so i feel you've had to overcome a lot and deal with a lot and loneliness i know that i'm never alone again that came out in the masculine you have had periods of feeling very lonely feeling alone but you have really connected with your own intuition your guidance and you know you're you're never truly alone and peace i'm a being of love and release all negative energy so coming into a very peaceful place within yourself and attracting that abundance we saw that i'm a limitless being and i manifest whatever i desire in this physical reality so really manifesting your abundance and freedom i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness so yeah being a free sovereign being you know taking back your power owning your own creations you know co-creating with the universe and acceptance i'm learning to accept the things i cannot change so being in the energy of acceptance and knowing that you know you have co-created wherever you're at right now and you've done a lot of growing i want to expand my consciousness and my awareness so you've grown a lot you've learned a lot and discipline i set i can accomplish what i set my mind to so being in that discipline state of mind realizing that you co-create that you manifest your desires and honoring your health your physical body taking better care of yourself in that way and feeling pride having that self-love and seeing myself and everyone you know knowing having that love and compassion for all and forgiving yourself i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love so being in that energy of forgiveness and forgiving your masculine and being in good self-esteem <clears throat> i possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others so really being in a good energy like i said self-love and success i know there is no greater goal than love so wanting that successful connection that relationship and being of service i feel good when i can help others so maybe serving the community in some way you know following your passion your creativity and having that empathy i'm open to seeing both sides of the situation so being highly em empathetic with yourself and others at this time so what do you want to say to your masculine i'm taking better care of myself and i want to be the best version of myself so we saw that with the health i feel your energy around me all the time and you have such a calmness to you beautiful inside and out and remembering those times with you of my happiest memories and my love i have so much passion and desire for you you set me aflame so still feeling that passion and i dream of you and me doing sexy things to each other so really feeling that passion you're so sexy so desirable i want you bad i want you now and when i think of you i'm overwhelmed with emotions so really feeling the feeling still feeling that connection and i want to feel all your desires my love so wanting to be the one okay that can fulfill their desires wanting to be that one for them so let's look at my life lessons and shades of night oracle messages so let your inner beauty shine out into the world i feel this is what you're doing you're really going to start doing that more and you're balancing out your energies with the yin and the yang you're balancing out the masculine and feminine and you have a telepathic link with this person okay you can read each other's minds i feel you're still connected and there could be shocking news or surprise coming towards you and you're getting spiritual advice you're opening up to your guidance here as i said and you're getting into that playful fun energies happier times so working on your own energies responsible for your own joy and happiness and intelligent and thoughtful contacts so, so there are contacts that so somebody's reaching out and a special someone arrives in your life so for some of you it is a reconciliation and for others it could be somebody new that does match you in that energy and it is your equal it is your counterpart so i'm going to leave it there love and blessings take care